Hey everyone, I'm back. I'm Mike McCutcheon with Forensic Education. And I'm just going to do a quick demonstration today of some of the problems that you have when you're fingerprinting and some things that you mess up. So the first is not wearing gloves and then your hands get all nasty. So I'm going to put my gloves on. And what I did today is I just threw a couple of prints on these. And I'm going to show you some of the wrong ways to process a fingerprint. One is, uh, or the first thing that we're going to do is the favorite. It's going to be a big mess. Using too much powder. This is not a paint uh, paint bucket, so we're not dipping like this. Oh, this is going to be a mess. Oh, Jesus. Okay, so then I try to develop my print. Oh, shit, look at that. Okay, and... All right, there's one on here. I know I put one on here. Oh, there it is. So I can see a fingerprint here, but look at that. I've colored the background because I've used so much powder. So that's the first mistake that we're going to use is we're going to use too much powder. You only need the tiniest bit of powder. What I just put on this brush to demonstrate the too much powder, um, I'm going to, uh, I could dust all of this stuff with just that one. So here's too much powder. I'll put that in for the close-up. Okay, here's our print. It is really overdeveloped, as you can see. So much background. If you tried lifting that, uh, and here's my print. You can actually see the print right here. Here is your print. You can actually see the ridge detail in there. But this is really overdeveloped. If you tried lifting that, you're going to get all of this background. You don't need that nonsense. Okay, so that was just a mess. The second problem you have is not taking care of your brush. So just by using all of that powder, I've really, really put so much in here that if I try to dust for a fingerprint, it's really going to make a mess here. So not taking care of the brush by leaving it down like this or you instead of laying it nice so that you're not uh, disturbing the bristles, you leave it like that or you hold it upside down and then these will come down. Um, or when you have your powder, instead of just slightly getting it, you're dipping it in like you're painting. <coughs> You're ruining the brush. You're ruining the brush every time you do that. So now this brush is junk just from doing that. You can see that it's all like floppy in here and it's it's just a crappy brush now. So my good brush is no longer. Okay, so now I'm gonna use my new brush. Oh, isn't that pretty? So I only have a little bit of powder in here because that's all we need. I'm just going to take a tiny little bit of powder and I am going to dust it on there. Oh yeah, baby. That is looking good. I'm gonna put a little smidge more and just develop it even better. Okay, that is looking oh look another one here. Okay. So I have a very nice fingerprint on here. Okay, so I'm gonna put that in so that you can see it. Here is my fat, juicy print. Look at that, baby. Oh, yeah, that is awesome. All of that detail looking fine. So now, error number three, we had using too much, not taking care of our brush. Now what we're going to do is I have this beautiful print, and I'm going to try to overdevelop it. You saw how nice it was. So now what I'm going to do... Well, I won't even use more powder. I'll use a little bit. So I'm saying, okay, well, that looks pretty good. But I'm going to try to develop it even further. So you keep dusting, you keep dusting, you keep dusting, you keep dusting. Oh, now, if you didn't super glue fume it, now you can see that the print is, is gone. Now that print is gone. I overdeveloped it. I overdeveloped it. Once you see all of those friction ridges, you're good. You're good to go. 
If you didn't super glue fume it, you can wipe away your print. And that's what happened here. Okay, remember that print on how good it looked? That's what's left. This is what happens when you overdevelop it. So now we zoom in. We got nothing. You see a couple of the little bit of ridge detail up here on the tip. But that is it. That is gone. We've just wiped our evidence out and we have nothing. Okay, I'm going to put a fingerprint on. Uh, let's take a dry one here. Make sure it's dry. All right, so again, I'm going to develop my print. Just as we have been doing this whole time. So I have my nice fingerprint here. Another error is, instead of when you're dusting, I want you to see that space. You're just barely touching the print. Okay, it's barely touching. One of the other errors you'll do is, you'll do the paintbrush. So you go like this. And now, oh, now that, I didn't show it to you earlier, but that, that print is gone. So we're not doing a paintbrush where we have our fingers, our thumb, and our two fingers. This is the easiest way for me. And you're spinning it. You're spinning that brush. You're very lightly, okay, see that space? You're very lightly touching the print. That's what we're doing. We're just giving it a very, very, very light print. Okay, so those are the simplest errors, four quick errors. Not taking care of the brush. That could be, see, you keep, see, I, I keep putting it away. If I don't, if, uh, like this brush that's ruined, so I just put this in my bag or my uh, crime scene kit. This is just going to get all matted down, and eventually it'll look like this. And that's what you'll be trying to fingerprint with. Let's see all the fibers. Um, and that's a mess. We, we, don't, we don't want that. Okay? Um, we're using too much powder. We wiped away our fingerprint by overdeveloping it or we wiped it away using our paintbrush. Those are the simplest uh, errors to correct. Um, just use a little tiny bit of powder. You can super glue fume so that way you can if you do make an error that you can go back over it um, and just take care of your equipment and you're going to be very successful. All right, thanks for watching. That's a quick one today. I'm Mike McCutcheon. You can check out all my stuffs at forensiceducation.net you can subscribe to YouTube, Instagram, all that good stuff, and check out all my other videos and trainings and that type of thing. I'll see you soon.